Pisces, welcome to your weekly read. This is a general reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. If it doesn't resonate, keep it moving. Personal reading information is linked in the description box. All the decks used will also be linked in the description box and any jewelry seen will also be linked in the description box. The reading is aimed for the month of August, but time is elusive whenever you're drawn to watch the reading, usually when you're meant to hear the message. At the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a little more guidance for the week. Also have a new affirmation deck that I've added to the bunch. Let's jump right into it. All of your cards seem to be out. Hmm, interesting. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups. Mm hmm interesting, very interesting vibe this week. Walking away. You're walking away or someone's walking away. Okay, it could be from anything. People, places, and things, mindsets, emotional baggage, things that we tell ourselves that keeps us from what it is that we're really trying to accomplish and achieve, right? Whatever it is that's weighing, whatever it is that's not getting us to where we want to be, we're leaving it behind. We're, we're tired. We're tired, okay? You're tired. Someone else is tired. Tired, okay? Time, it's time to stop making excuses. This is also very much accountability energy. This is when we decide to take accountability for our own life, walk our own path, do what need, do what we need to do, regardless of whatever and whoever. Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups in your past position. Knight of Cups has been pretty prevalent this today throughout the readings. Water sign energy could be you, could be someone else. Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Usually someone that has something uh, emotionally based to say, it could be, you know, asking you on a date or just making their emotions obvious, whatever those emotions are. Usually positive ones, but walking away and moving. So it's like you or someone else is moving away from some sort of manipulative sort of energy. Seven of Swords is very manipulative energy. Lying, cheating, stealing, an omission of truth type of person, someone that doesn't tell you everything, but they don't tell you everything either. You know what I'm saying? Like... Or trying to, you know, also could be strategy, strategy energy. Someone could have tried to be strategic, strategic here in the past. Maybe it's not working. Could be that too, right? Abandoning that uh, strat, abandoning that that type of what's the word? Attempt or whatever the hell you know what I'm saying. Strat whatever strategy they've been using ain't working. That's the point. Okay, it's not working. It's not getting them anywhere. So anything is hurting them with the Three of Swords here. Okay, Strength card, Leo energy, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, in the, in the present position. Yeah, whatever approach, that's the word I was looking for. Whatever approach someone has been taking, you have been taking, someone's been taking, it sucks. Okay, it sucks. Get rid of it. It's manipulative. It's, it's the, it, you know, it's deceitful. It's a little bit witchy. It's, it's it's not good and it's not getting whoever has this approach. It's not getting them more to where they want to be. That's that's the worst part. And you know, we can, we can understand if your little approach is actually getting you somewhere, but it's actually getting you further from your destination point. Come on now. Strength card is overcoming, letting go, you know, working up the courage, working up the... the it's a, kind of like facing your demons too. Because as you can see, she's got this lion down tamed. And to have that line that team, you gotta there's a lot of energy that and, and, and acknowledgement and you know patience that has to go into that. But you have to first acknowledge the lion to even get to the point where you can command it. As I said, Ten of Wands, this is my you're doing too much card. Someone's been doing too much, going about something in all the wrong ways. You know? Now it's a burden, now it's heavy, now you gotta drop it, now the whole thing's over. All because someone chose to be sneaky or go about things underhandedly or play games that they don't even know the rules to. Could definitely be that Eight of Swords energy. Walking away from this sort of energy, this sort of mindset, this sort of like, you know, this is real life, you know. This is real life. Someone seems to be coming to that realization that they're not getting anywhere because of the way they act, the way they approach things. It's not, it's not healthy. Finally, maybe realize, facing themselves, seeing that within themselves, finally. Because it's funny, these two are right beside each other. And then it's a seven and an eight, which is progress, right? 
So finally seeing themselves, finally seeing that they're the problem. They're the problem. Because, no offense to us humans, but um, Eight of Cups. Eight is a lot of uh, is a lot of cups. I mean, there's only ten, so you're only three short from the maximum amount of cups that you could possibly receive. So if you're at eight, guaranteed, whether you want to acknowledge it or not, at least five of those cups were your own doing. Because how many cups does it really take for you to get it, for you to understand, for you to see the patterns, for you to do, acknowledge things, for you to be doing the same thing eight times? There has to be some sort of accountability, right? accountability that you're choosing these type of cups that that are worthy of walking away from how many times are we going to pick cups that are only worth walking away from and then blame someone else because we chose the cup that's worth walking away from that's only meant to be walked away from we want to love the cup that's meant to be walked away from cannot blame someone else for that most of the time these suckers don't even ask to be loved <laughs> right they don't even ask to be loved we choose that right we choose to love someone or to continuously get ourselves in situations with people, places, and things that we knew from the get-go were not going to be conducive. Okay? So, if someone looks like they're finally looking in the mirror, getting that shit under control, addressing the demons, not going to be doing too much anymore with that Ten of Wands. Future Energy is the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So, getting serious, getting practical. Taking practical steps, making practical efforts, making practical conscious decisions. The Seven of Pentacles is very conscious. And the Six of Pentacles is giving where we put our time and energy, right? And and being practical, making practical decisions and, and, you know, looking at the whole picture before we just jump right into shit. Seven of Pentacles is very much investment, where you put your time, where you put your energy. Are you planting apples and getting apples? Or... Are you using enough seeds to get the amount of apples that you need? Or do you really want oranges? So if you want oranges, why are you planting apples? All these things, right? Conscious, being conscious of where we put our time and energy. Because pentacles is very much time and energy. Could also be money. With all this pentacle here. But this is just telling me the 3D world. No longer being aloof. Right? Looking at things for what it is and, and making decisions based on the truth, based on the reality. So we're not continuously ending up here. Because, I mean, that that's enough. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's enough. It's enough. It's enough now. We can no longer blame, blame others. Okay? We can no longer blame other people. This is us taking accountability. For whatever bits and portions we have left of life, we're taking accountability for it. We're no longer going to live in this oblivious world and then, you know, so new, on to new things, better things, new contracts, new partnerships. Some of you will be moving. Some of you will be traveling more. But these are conscious decisions. Victory. Success. Now, also. This is also a yes card. Okay, getting very clear. Cutting through all the bullshit. I also see the Ten of Cups underneath here, which is telling me this is exactly what is going to get you everything you want and need to be happy and fulfilled. Most importantly, Pisces, quit, quit playing games. I just heard quit playing games with my heart. <laughs> you know, that type of energy. It's like quit playing games with your own heart because you really are playing games with your own heart. Especially if, you know, some of this painful stuff happened a while ago and you're still dwelling on it. Like, let it go. That person then moved on to with whoever they're with new and you're still over here. It's hurt. Right? Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus. Coincidentally, we're talking about practicality. This is abundance energy too. For some of you, this is around finances. Taurus is very financially, you know, minded. Nothing is yet set in stone, so this is telling me you can make new decisions. If you've been doing something one way for a very long time, it's never too late to change the way you do things or perceive things. As it, this, the same vibe I was getting from here. Whatever bits of life we have left, we're going to live consciously. We're going to look at things on full scales, not just in pieces and fragments to how it suits us, right? Emotions are running high. Yeah, I'd say so. For somebody, at least. And then we're going to get the animal overcome. 
for Pisces. Did one of them flip out? Oh yeah. Wasp spirit, sometimes life stings, I'd say so. But that's learn, right? Learn from the mistakes. And that's more of that practical, con conscious, not even conscious. This is more of that living consciously. Taking a look at everything we've been through, all the bullshit, and seeing where we, within ourselves, aided in the problem, was, was a contributing factor to the problem. Where what, what decisions we can make differently to get different outcomes. Okay, sometimes life things it sure does. So, oh yeah, and the new oracle, this is actually an affirmation deck. Listen, bitch, affirmation. Let's see what affirmations we have for you, Pisces. This one came out. Go to bed. Go to bed knowing you've done everything you can. There we go. And that's that's where this is coming in. Because once we start taking accountability for our actions, our decisions, our patterns, then we have a lot more control, right? We can, there, there, there's like a, it's like a peace that we gain. Because we're not just flying into things like, like, wild horses or whatever right go to bed knowing you've done everything you can yeah it makes it a lot easier to, to release things too when you've made decisions out of practical out of conscious places when they don't go right it's a lot easier to release it because there's no like oh my god what if i did this no because you did make it from a, a conscious place that is your reading pisces hopefully it resonated with you thumbs me up leave me a comment if it did see you all next week